Hello again, everyone. So today we're going to take a look at why we can't divide by zero. So, you know, maybe you punched in on your calculator, seven divided by zero, and it got really mad at you. It blew up or something like that. No, I'm just kidding. It will say undefined. Um, or your teacher got mad at you for dividing by zero, you know, stuff like that. And everyone always says, hey, don't divide by zero. And maybe you've wondered why. Well, many people do. And we're going to make a little proof as to why you can't divide by zero today. So this is called proof by contradiction. So we, oh, that's a little thick, eh? Never mind, it's not too bad. We can't divide by zero. And it's a proof by contradiction. So I like to say proof. So, you know, in math, we don't just say things. We have to have reasons behind it. Uh, hopefully, anyway. <laughs> I wish I lived my life that way, too. Um, proof by contradiction. So you assume something's true. You show it leads to something that doesn't make sense. So suppose we can divide by zero. So I'm going to show that this makes the world explode. Um, and everything we know will be wrong. So we suppose we can divide by zero. So then we say let x equal y. Right? You guys with me? Then we could say, therefore, we'll multiply both sides by x. x times x equals x times y. Right? We can multiply on one side, we can multiply on the other. And that gives us, I like to do a little implies here. Double arrows, if and only if. Well, x times x is just x squared, and that equals xy, right? You guys with me? So if x equals y, then x squared equals xy. Uh, not so bad. Anyways, let's do it again. Let's do something else. We can subtract the same thing from, from both sides. I'm sure everyone agrees. So we could say, if and only if, x squared minus y squared equals x y minus y squared right it's just an equation we're subtracting the same thing from both sides totally allowed to do that it's all good nothing wrong well we know if we have a difference of two squares like a squared minus b squared that factors is a plus b a minus b right same idea here so x squared minus y squared we're going to have x plus y x minus y that's a difference of two squares factor it anyways let's keep going and on the other side here x y minus y squared um pull out a common factor so pretend it was a b minus b squared you pull out b you're gonna get a minus b b times a minus b and if you multiplied that back through you'd get a b minus b squared. Same idea. So we pull out y and we have x minus y, right? Well, what do you notice that's common on both sides of this equation? We have x plus y, we have x minus y equals y times x minus y. Well, we have x minus y on both sides. So we can divide both sides of this equation by x minus y, right? Totally allowed to do that. Well, we know x equals y as well, so we can bring that y to this side. That means x minus y equals zero, right? But we can divide by zero. So x minus y equals zero, but we can divide by zero. So this is allowed. Because that's what we suppose is true right up top here. Suppose we can divide by zero, right? So totally allowed, not doing anything wrong yet. I mean, we are, but based on what we've supposed is allowed, we're all good. So we can cancel and cancel, right? And what we end up with is x plus y equals y. Does that make sense? So far, so good. Well, what else is true about this? Well, Basically, we have that x 
equals y, right? So we can switch this x out right here. Since x equals y, we can make this x into y. So we say y plus y equals y since x equals y, right? Make sense? Um, well, what does what is y plus y? Well, it's 2y, right? Combining like terms. Therefore, 2y equals y. Divide both sides by y. We get 2 times 1 equals 1. A-K-A-2 equals 1. Now, this is like, I can't take credit for this myself, this proof here. It's pretty well known, actually. Well, I came up with it myself right now, but I'm sure someone else has in the past. Either way, this is a proof why we can't divide by zero, because the world will fall apart. You divide by zero, you can get two equals one, um, which doesn't make sense. We all know two equal, does not equal one. All right, so let's finish this off. But two does not equal one. Therefore, we can't divide by zero. You know, a lot of people might wonder why. So, I have this little square here. I put it at the end of a proof to show we're done. Some people say QED. Anything goes. You could just say done. I don't know. Put a smiley face. Uh, I, I like this proof. It's pretty cool. You could show anything else. It doesn't have to be 2 equals 1. Uh, you can make any number equal to any number if you can divide by 0. And that is why we can't. It leads to a contradiction.